hello this is explanation of trend.m file uh, before explanation I will show you the images within the train folder the same person's uh, images have been stored in the same in one folder and the name of that folder has been assigned with the title or the name of that person uh, if you look into these images uh, each image uh, is of the same person and the name of that person have been assigned to the folder uh, now look into the code the first line of code that is this one it will uh, create a structure and this structure stores the name of the uh, folder the name of the folders within the, uh, in the train data and the name of the images if I execute this file you will see the result within the workspace so I will run this first line and you will see what happened ok after executing the first line I have got the structure training images and if I open the structure you will see that it contain files and labels the file is the address of the images within the directory and the directory of my computer these are the addresses the path of those images and if you look into the labels it contain the name of those folders so these are labels and other are the path of the images this is just nothing by mistake I have stored this over here here line was net is equal to lxnet within second line of code uh, the convolutional neural network will be uh, defined if I execute the second line you will see the convolutional neural network the name of which is lxnet will be shown over here now look at this network this is lxnet network and these are all the set of layers within that network the name of each layer have been described over here so you can go into the explanation of each layer the first layer is the input layer and it get an input it accept an input of 20, 227 cross 227 with three channels so the other layer is the convolutional neural network the filter size is 11 cross 11 straight size is 4 cross 4 the number of filters are 96 so this is explanation of all the uh, layers uh, within the convolutional neural network if you open each and every one so after that uh, uh, this line of code has nothing to do it will just show you that uh, the layers of that neural network so I have defined a layer over here that is FC7 FC7 if you look into this model here is a last layer that is known as fully connected layer so this layer is FC8 and a layer before this layer is FC7 so I am going to extract features from this FC7 the size of feature will be 4096 it will contain 4096 variable after that I will uh, extract features from the train images that have been previously defined so if I execute this it will extract features and it will store those train features within the file over here now the features have been extracted these were four, five thousand uh, five hundred seventy four images and each feature set is of size 4096 if you look into this you will see these are the values of the feature variables after this date uh, there is another line of code uh, I execute that line it will store the train label train label is just the name of uh, each feature the, this is the first feature is the of the person female asthma the second is also for the female asthma and then the feature number 21 is of the female as well and similarly all those 
574 images have been labeled over here and then all those uh, data is being stored in the uh, as a trend art net file like the neural network its layers its features and the labels all those things are stored as a trend art mat within the directory so look into this directory you can see that there is a trend art mat file and this file contains features its labels and uh, information about the neural network thank you so much